Yeah, you got great to, the, to the bug eye. It's just as we dive into her pupil, where the camera goes into her pupil, and then and in that darkness forms the oh, alien. Would be cool. You know that that is, I the alien that was like this since the seventies. No, I think it's done that kind of camera angle. I, this is a, yeah, in fact a lot of what I'm doing with the with the editing is kind of a throwback. Also, it's a throwback to that time, but that's you know I was around in that time. It kind of reminds me of oh the kind of cutting and stuff. And I used to love those movies. You know that technique in the sixties and seventies. And um, everything today has gotten so digitized and so kind of automatic. I kind of like... There's something about the digital domain that I, I can perceive that it's digital. I, you know, I still am trying to wrap my, uh, my mentality around the idea that, that analog and digital would be significantly different in certain clarity ways, right? You know what I mean? Like the, uh, the regular film versus all this digital delivery. I, mean, I had a feeling that, technology, that but. when this video drops that I had this premonition or feeling, I'll say it's a feeling, that some filmmaker somewhere might get onto the idea when I develop it, just from that video. And I just, I just want to add in, I'm not interested in movies, but I mean, I, I, I like making Been there, done that. I would personally appreciate, I love video. I would personally appreciate whoever produces it to use an adequate production value. Uh, Frank, now you've been saying that over, you, you, apparently you've got something on your mind here because you've been saying that production value thing now twice in a row, which means, obviously, I mean, that's what makes all those, that's what makes that entire genre work. I mean, there's this, you know, of course you know that. I mean, on, on both sides. I mean, who would watch these stupid action movies if it weren't for the, you know... Uh, I actually have a... I, I have a screenplay yeah. that, that was written with this guy. I have a screenplay from 1990 <laughs> that was written with my, a guy that I'd done a couple of films with. Anyway, he... Um, I didn't talk to him about this. I'd actually spoken with him recently. He's still alive and kicking, and apparently he's writing a project for somebody. But... Uh, this film was way ahead of its time. And what it was about was, it was about this guy that goes for treatment because he's having panic attacks, okay? And he just can't handle it. As he looks around the outside world, it's like, things are changing. And there's this hilarious, like, he comes home after going to the doctor who gives him this special experimental drug. It's supposed to really help with panic attacks, but what it really is is some multi-dimensional attitude adjuster, you know? So he gets home, <laughs> and suddenly, you know, the reality shifts, and like he's at the dinner table, and there, and the, his wife and the kids are all acting weird, making lewd sexual. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And and it's like that's not appropriate at the dinner table, is it? And the dog. And they're talking about you know just literally you know there's R plus rated stuff. Didn't didn't the. Uh... And then he objects to it, and then they go, well you're sick, you need help. You're not going to approve, you know. So in other words, it's like yeah, the satanic yeah, world. The, 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 the satanic world rises up above him. His own kids, everyone's acting different, and because he reacts to it, he's the bad guy. He's the bad. He's the troublemaker. 